Welcome to Smart PLS. Let's take a look at how to run the importance performance map analysis in Smart PLS. For this purpose, we run the Smart PLS software and use the corporate reputation example. Double click on extended model to open the extended model. We are interested in running the importance performance map analysis for the key target construct customer loyalty. To run the analysis, click on Calculate and select the Importance Performance Map Analysis. Now the Start dialog opens. Here you have to select your key target construct. Our key target construct in this analysis is Customer Loyalty. Next we decide to include all predecessors of the selected target construct, Customer Loyalty, into the Importance Performance Map Analysis. Next, Smart PLS needs to know on which scale your indicators are. All indicators in the corporate reputation example have a scale from 1 to 7. You need to make sure that the correct minimum and the correct maximum value appear here in the ranges. Otherwise, correct them manually. Now we are done with the IPMA settings. All other settings for the partial least squares algorithm, the missing data treatment, or the weighting of data can use the defaults of Smart PLS. Click on Start Calculate to run the Importance Performance Map Analysis. After running the IPMA, the default report opens. Under Final Results, we click on Total Effect. Here we find the standardized and the unstandardized total effects. We are interested in the unstandardized total effects on the target construct customer loyalty. These results become the importance values in our importance performance chart. Next, we click under final results on latent variable. Here we find the standardized, unstandardized and rescaled latent variable scores. The rescaled latent variable scores are on a scale from 0 to 100. Their average value become the performance values in the importance performance chart. In the default report, you can go to quality criteria. Here's the option importance performance map for the target construct customer loyalty on the constructs level. After clicking on this option, the graphical representation of the importance performance map opens. The Ceteris Paribus interpretation of the IPMA results, for example for the construct likability, is as follows. A one-point increase of likability's performance would lead to an increase of the performance of the key target construct customer loyalty by the size of the total effect. This means that customer loyalty would increase by a value of 0 0.531. In the same way, you can interpret the results for all other latent variables in the importance performance map. Now we close the default report. After closing the default report, we see the IPMA results in our modeling window. The numbers in the latent variables are the performance scores. And in the structural model, we see the total effects, namely the unstandardized total effects from one latent variable, like performance, on competence, or from customer satisfaction on customer loyalty. Thereby, we can also visually inspect the IPMA results. In the left lower box under calculation results, you find some options to display different things in the Smart PLS modeling window. For example, for inner model, you can decide if you would like to see unstandardized total effects or, for example, the standardized path coefficients. Just click on the combo box and make your selection. You can also decide if you like to highlight some paths. The default setting is off but you can also select, for example, use absolute values. 
After making this selection, you see in the Smart Peelers modeling window that particularly strong total effects become thick arrows, while the smaller ones become thinner arrows. Finally, you can decide if you like to save your report on your computer device. You can save the results in an Excel report by clicking on the Excel option. You can also save your results in an HTML report by clicking on the HTML symbol. Finally, there is an option that allows you to save the results tables into R format. We are now done with the IPMA analysis. Thank you for using Smart PLS.